Hi there. Today, something really simple, yet really effective. Action cam mounted on a snowboard. There are a couple of places you can mount your action cam when you're going underwater to take photographs. One is on top of the mask and you can buy masks that have uh, the um, action cam mount already on there. Uh, the other place is on the top of your underwater camera housing and I, I use that one as well. And another place I hummed and hard about for a little while and that was on the bottom of the snorkel. Now the reason I did that is because when it's mounted on top of the mask, especially if you're doing a lot of snorkeling, you're basically near the top of or near the surface of the water. So your action cam I've got a few here so here's a DJI the original action cam from DJI that if that sits up there if you're sort of near the surface of the water the action cam tends to be above the surface of the water and is not so effective when you're taking photographs under the water to try and capture that action right so that's why I thought if you've got your action cam mounted on your snorkel that's always going to be underneath the water and therefore much more effective. Another reason to have the action cam mounted down here under the water is that when I've got my underwater camera housing and I've got it out in front of me, I'm getting a shot of both the underwater camera housing and the subject that I'm actually taking still photos of. For me, the priority is the still images and the video is just a bonus and if I can get capture, capture that, then I can make that into YouTube videos, for example. So let me just show you also how I do this. I've got a couple of snorkels here that I thought I'd just demonstrate. The, what you need to do, so this is a really cheap snorkel, and you see that this has got a rounded edge. You're not going to be able to get anything onto that. It's not going to be able to, is, there's nowhere for it to get a purchase. So that's going to be out the door. You've got another one here that has a flat surface and that might do the trick. You might want to think also about whether this is a, you know, a snorkel that you're going to use all the time. And the snorkel that I ended up mounting it on is uh, my, my Cressy here that has I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going to be focusing on my face. But you've got a, a flat surface there. So this particular Cressy model has a, um, a sort of water filter thing. I don't know what it's called. That helps to drain the water. I normally just spurt it out the top. But also this helps to drain the water. So that flat surface on the bottom of the snorkel is what I've stuck the GoPro mount onto. Now the GoPro mounts, these sticky ones are super sticky. You might worry that, you know, that that sticky thing might come off. The, what you could do if you were really, you know, if you're bothered by it is perhaps put a little bit of fishing wire as a sort of fail safe between this element and something up here. You may notice that it's on an angle and I put it on an angle because when that's in my mouth, that sits on an angle, so I've set this, so to compensate for that, I put that at an angle. And what I did there is I literally had this on my mask and the snorkel in my mouth and looked at myself in a mirror and I lined it up so that it was relatively straight, as straight as I could get it, rather than put it on a straight angle with the snorkel because that does sit well, this particular one sits slightly skew if in my mouth. And that just slips onto there fairly simply. He says, <laughs> oops, trying to put it on the wrong way. That's why. Um, and that is a GoPro one, but then that's linked up here with a DJI. That's what I'm saying. They're all kind of interchangeable. Doesn't really matter which one. I just found ones that I had sitting around and that's what I've used. I've got the DJI Action 2 
which some people don't like and I've recently bought it. One of the things that appealed to me about this is not only the size, it's obviously smaller. That's the DJI, the original DJI Action. Obviously quite a bit bigger, it's about the same size as a GoPro. I've also used GoPro in the past as well. And so obviously that's a bit bigger and heavier sitting underneath. So that's one thing that I like about the DJI Action 2 is its size, compact size. But the other thing that this has is the Horizon, what's it called? Horizon Steady? Horizon Steady, I think that's what it's called. Horizon Steady, so even though I might be bobbling about a bit in the water while I'm taking shots, the Horizon is going to stay level. Do GoPro have that? I've got absolutely no idea. I'm not a gear person. I figure use what works, use what you've got, and that's exactly why I've cobbled this together. One thing I have found that you should be aware of and you need to play around with a bit is that when it's sitting in your mouth, you want to get the angle of your action cam just right so that it's either facing the underwater camera housing or your subject or whatever it is that you're focused on, make sure you get the angle right. So what I've done a few times is to take a test dive, come up, review, and then adjust the angle a little and then um, try it again. So that's it. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the best. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Follow my channel for more good stuff about underwater photography and photography in general. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Oh.